but to be involved with other things that, that are going on in the city helps me be, you know, constantly in the community. Mm-hmm. You know, the same with like the Hamilton Arts Council stuff I'm doing um, and whatnot. So that there's always something to kind of, you know, keep me involved in the city and, you know, give me opportunities to connect with new people and encourage, you know, community over competition. Community over competition. This is a Because Design Matters exclusive. This is Because Design Matters. We are here with the one, the only, the, the, to, to introduce yourself. It's K Triggs. You know what it is. It's K Triggs. I've been on here. Y'all know K Triggs. Why is your voice so raspy, K Triggs? I don't know what's going on here. A couple people have said that. Maybe I'm like, you know, feeling under the weather a little bit. I don't, don't know. Don't be up fine. here sick talking on the microphone. I'm feeling fine. You should so. have said, I said I was, I was partying. <laughs> I was partying hard, you know. That's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go with that. You weren't yelling, right? No, nah, no. Nah, I've been trying my best not to yell, you know. Good call. You be yelling at 905 Fest. I do, I do. I remember Floza said he could hear me from a kilometer away. A kilometer away, He said eh? he was, like, coming down to Bayfront the one year. He was like, like, at his house? Yeah, he said he, he said he was coming down to Bayfront. He's like, I can hear you, like, all the way up the street. <laughs> and I was like, that's pretty cool. But, yeah, I, I didn't lose my voice this year. So, success there. Number one check. It was those, uh, those big speakers. Yeah, yeah, big speakers. Big speakers go with the big stage. Shout out Long McQuaid. You know? Shout out Long McQuaid, hooking it up. Back to back to back to How many years now? Long McQuaid's been our sponsor every year. So that's since the beginning. Since the beginning, yeah. Been Shout out Long longest McQueen. Longest running sponsors. Longest sponsor? Yeah, yeah. Longest running sponsor for sure. The first year we ever did it, Long McQuaid supplied like a little small setup, you know. Long McQuaid's years. been a part of 905 Fest longer than me. Well, it's cool because, you know, I remember the first year, just like two speakers and a mic. I called them like a couple months before and I was like, hey, I need these like items. And they're like, yeah, like no problem. Like just come in and get them. But now the like the rental has grown to such a large degree. We're getting so much equipment like they, uh, you know, sponsored about $50,000 worth of equipment this past Damn. year, uh, which is like a very large level up from previous years. Uh, obviously, with the larger stage, we needed more equipment to kind of suit that setup. Um, you know, and Long and McQuaid really helps make that whole process very easy. Did you say $50,000? Yeah, we're, like that was the value of the equipment in terms of like how mm-hmm. much it's worth. Like in reality, like we rented it for one day. So obviously that's not the cost. Yeah, of it. yeah, but that's the value of the equipment and what they're providing. It's us. still a lot. It is, it is, and we wouldn't be able to do, you know, the festival, and we got lots of good compliments from d- attendees and p- performers and people who watched about the sound quality, mm-hmm. and, you know, that's a huge testament to our stage and sound team, you know, um, at 905 Fest, you know, shout out Kristen Prince on sax, uh, Kristen's our stage manager and has been for the last three years. Shout out Kristen. Shout out Kristen, KP. she does a lot of great work, uh, you know, we have other things going together, but that's, you know, the way we started working together a couple, three years ago, she kind of just performed at 905 Fest and was like, you know what, can I help you? And I was like, well, yeah, yeah, that'd be great. We could use some help. (laughs) And, you know, she's done so much tremendous uh, work along with, you know, Mason Mascor at Sign of the North. Shout out Mason. And, you know, Grind Abrasion. Shout out Grind. Uh, You know, they're all a big help in 905 Fest and making it all run smoothly every year. You Mm -hmm. know, helping all the performers with their needs and, you know, the requirements for staging. We were just on the call with them yesterday. Getting ready for 905 Fest next 2025. Oh, yeah. Since 905 Fest ended, I don't think I've had a break to, like, not think about. It was, like, a second. Yeah, like, maybe, like, a Got to go to Supercrawl for one weekend and go, hmm, look at what they're doing. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, you know, I love being a part of Supercrawl. You know, I've been working at Supercrawl now for the last four years. Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it's even just I'm getting more responsibility Supercrawl and more things to do. Shout out Sonic Onion and all my, my, my associates there. You know, I've been working there for a few years now, so I appreciate them. Shout out Lisa. All the work shout they out. do. Shout, shout out Tim. Shout, shout out Tim. Matt. Shout out everybody. Yeah, shout out everybody at Sonic Onion. You know, like... I, I love working there. It's a great thing to do to help out with, you know, other events going on. Obviously, I host 905 Fest and I organize that. But to be involved with other things that, that are going on in the city helps me be, you know, constantly in the community. Mm-hmm. You know, the same with, like, the Hamilton Arts Council stuff I'm doing um, and whatnot. So that there's always something to kind of, you know, keep me involved in the city and, you know, give me opportunities to connect with new people and encourage, you know, community over competition community over competition 905 fest is great super crawl is great definitely all those different sound engineer people part of 905 all great yeah oh for sure for sure and you know we wouldn't be able to do it without you know brody at because design matters you know our media manager all right he's all right a lot of greats and then uh, ah 
Yeah, yeah, he's all right. He's all right. You know, we, I'm sure we could find better. But, I'm you know, sure they're out we'll, there. We'll take what we got. We'll take what we get. See if the grants no. come through for next year. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I'm, I'm kidding though. You know, Brody does great work helping us out with our festival. He's a big part of that as well. You know, shout out Mama Triggs. She shout helps out, out Mama Triggs. Uh, a whole bunch. Yeah, uh, obviously, you know, I couldn't do this without all the great people that are involved. And all the people that come out and support, all the artists, all the, you know, we, we don't get, uh, like, we're not super crawl level, obviously. This is only the, the fifth year that we've done the festival. So we're still building an audience and building a following. Mm-hmm. But uh, I appreciate all the people out there who do come out and, like, stop me on the street and let me know, you know, community over competition, you know, let me know that they were at 905 Fest. And they, I think we've seen growth every time. year with all of it. You know what I mean? Like, all of it has grown every year to another level. Exactly, and there's always ways we can improve, and we're always gonna look at like you know, uh, like something. One of my uh, one of the friends of mine that works at Supercrawl said to me, he was like, you know, just look back at Supercrawl Year Three. You know, they've been doing it for like uh, like fifteen, twenty years now, right? So you know, and look, look some of the other festivals, you know, like Festival Friends, Buzz mm. Fest. You know, uh, those larger festivals have been operating for many years, so they've had time to build, you know, a following of people that come every year and hear about. It. Obviously, Nine Hundred Five Fest has a lot of work to get to that point, but it's just a matter of time. Like I said, we're already meeting and you know talking with our with our team about how we can improve for next year and taking strides to keep growing to keep growing it's like you might be like oh you could have done this better could have done that better. easy to say Mm -hmm. i saw this great clip yesterday maybe i don't even know but it was like if you've never done the thing before keep your comment say your comments lightly well because you don't want to discourage someone who's trying to do something keep your maybe keep your critiques light Especially if you've never done anything like it. You know what? I think like that, that's a really good point because a lot of people are very sensitive. and they Yeah, you don't want to discourage someone that could like change something altogether. Like They could do something brand new and take it to new heights, and you're going to go, oh, your first thing wasn't your best thing. It's like, yeah, well. and, and that's fair. You know, everyone's first – like my first effort at 905 Fest wasn't exactly too great. Even the second and the third might not have been so much so, so awesome, but the fourth and the fifth have been – absolutely phenomenal in terms of how much we've progressed and you know what like there's lots of people who have always come to me and been like oh this is what you should do or this is how you should do it and you know i don't take that as oh because you don't do it you shouldn't say anything mm-hmm. you're entitled to your opinion and that's totally fine but no matter what you say it's not going to change the way i want to do things and it's not going to impact me because my vision is clear and my focus is on a specific goal and a specific task and I don't think everyone's built that way. Though. No. So no, somebody no, no, else, most people aren't. if you're going to sling mud on their idea, that might discourage them enough to not try it or like try to do more with it. Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing is I, I think that's a like a, like we were talking about this before is like we've taken a lot of risks over the years. Sure. Like lots of risks to do shows where like we would try it a certain way. We gave tickets to artists to let them bring their people in. We've you and know, people wouldn't like the approach and they go, oh, you guys are da da da, and it's like. We're just working out the kinks. You don't have the answer right now. Yeah, Everyone no... at this level, most people don't have sellout shows. Most people don't have the the list, the guest list like packed right when they yeah. announce a show. So you got to try out these different things. The people who aren't trying anything at all often aren't doing anything. Well, and that's one of my favorite things about my this book that I read uh, by Robert Kiyosaki. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad, one of my favorite books. Mm-hmm. Um, and basically in that book, one of the aspects he says is like a lot of reason why people don't accomplish the things that they want to accomplish is because they're ideas and they're afraid to fail. So they just put these ideas out there. You know, like I remember someone asked me, they're like, oh, how do you host a festival? And I was like, oh, Google it. Yeah. And they were like, well, what do you mean Google? I'm like, that's that's what I did. Like when I first started, I just I went to Google and I was like, host a public event in Hamilton type deal. And mm. I like went through the the the, the ups and the downs and the, the, the different avenues to try to figure out how that works. Now, it's a lot easier for me to like arrange it. Sure. Like it takes me no time to actually set the festival up in terms of the the, the basic stuff that comes with it. You know, getting yeah, like a booking permit, the, yeah. booking the stage, booking the equipment we need. It's all the extra stuff that, you know, comes into play and like all the day and of you're gonna run into stuff. kinks you're gonna book a venue and the venue's gonna fall through that happened that and happened. then you you got relationships and all of a sudden you go hey casba we need to we need to do a show in october we got a single coming yeah well and that's and that's what's great about having october 18th you know all of a sudden there's a show well, and that's what's great about it, you know, like, oh, we were supposed to do something October 5th, um, you know, shout out to my friends at Corktown, because we're still going to do something there eventually. Um, but Shout out know, the city. The, the the city of Hamilton, just to get their stuff together, they've been really busy. You know, I, they even they even took a while getting me what they needed to get me. You know, that my cyber permit. strike got them down yeah, bad. Yeah, cyber got them down, like, nothing, no hate on the city of Hamilton, you know, they, they, they do do the best they can do with what they've got, but, uh, you know, there's definitely some... 
uh, roadblocks in the way right now for people, anything, but trying to get the city to get them to do stuff for mm-hmm. them. You know, um, so my it friend... It caused the pivot to, yeah. to host the show at Casbah. That's right. We were trying to... You try to... Uh, what do you call that? You try to do a good, like, cycle of hitting the different venues in the different years, and then it, like, it promotes all the venues because we want all the venues to be... To continue, continue having us, yeah. right? And, and we're, I, we're like, oh, the relationship's good here and just keep booking the same venue. It's less um, inspired for people to come out, I think, too. Well, even people approach me all the time. Like, I just had a guy from one of my friends from school that I went to, when I went to school in Toronto, he manages a metal band, mm-hmm. uh, you know, and he manages his own, like, hip-hop record label as well, North Gold Entertainment, shout them out throughout the Yukon. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he's coming to Toronto to do a show. I mean, Hamilton to do a show. He's doing like a tour in Ontario. He's like, oh, where can I do a show in Hamilton for metal? And I was like, yo, hit up Vertigo Go or hit up Doors. You know what I mean? I don't mm-hmm. do metal shows, but I have knowledge of the venues yeah, in the city. The and are I have happening. no problem sharing that with my associates. You know, Mike checks music and uh, Fat Tech, Fat Fat Pat Tech. You know, they they uh, booked a show at Doors. They're doing a, a show with Young Stitch and some other artists. When is that? That's in October as well. Mike Checks is one of my artists. He's uh, the, one of my Freedom Speech artists. Mm-hmm. He's performing as well on October 18th at Casba. So that's going to be a great show. Double header for October. Yeah, yeah. Double header for October. And, uh, you know, I'll definitely... Who else is on the lineup for the show in October? On October 18th, we got some great artists. Who? We got, Ghost. We got Mike Checks. Mike Checks. We got Sukasa. Sukasa. We got Tom Thomas. Tom Thomas. We got, of course, we got Park from CC. Park from CC. We got Murr. Murr. We got KT and KP. KT and KP. You know, me because and... Because they're releasing a... Me and KP got some brand new music coming. We're releasing it. We'll have a song out for you that evening. We'll mm-hmm. have some brand new music that you haven't heard. Mm-hmm. Make sure to come check it out. If you haven't heard KP and I live, it's something definitely different. And, uh, you know, something you definitely don't expect to hear from, like, a hip-hop act. Uh, and all the other guys who are performing are all super talented, and they have Diffusion. their own individual like styles, you know, yeah. uh, which I really like about the show. Uh, mm-hmm. DJ Perry sound on the ones and twos, you know. Shout out DJ Perry. Burr, burr, burr. Doing shout lots out DJ stuff Perry. for freedom of speech lately. So big shout out to him yep. for always coming through for us. Uh, you know what I mean? It's gonna be a great time. Shout out to Casba as well for coming through last minute. Shout out Casba. You know, uh, within 24 hours of like having my show, you know, moved around. I made a couple calls, made a couple emails, and I was able to book us in at Casba. On a Friday night, which is awesome, Friday, October 18th, you know, show doors open at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. It's $10 at the door. $10. It's 19 plus at the door. 19 Bring plus. Bring a friend. Bring all your friends. Make sure they're 19 plus. Don't mess around. We want to see you guys there. It's going to be a great time. This might be the last show of the year of Freedom of Speech Entertainment. Mm-hmm. we got lots coming in the new year. Fresh off the boat. You know, come ready ready to ready to come on deck. But, uh, you know, this is the first thing you got to come check out. Me and KP, brand new music. Lots of great artists. going to be a great time. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. It's October 18th. Oh, and Underground Vibe 7.0. So I know lots of people out there have been to Underground Vibe shows in the past. They've performed in Underground Vibe shows. I would say this is like um, a very different lineup. We've had lots of repetitions in the past with Underground Vibes. Sure. They're pretty well. Like uh, Park from CC has been on an Underground Vibe show. Yeah. But any everybody else has not. Uh, except for KP, but you know KP and I weren't working together There's at that a time. Duo going on right we now. We weren't a duo at that time, so you know. Uh, oh, so that was you better ask somebody. It wasn't even underground vibes because we did underground Hard vibes, and you better ask somebody. Do you got a total? How many shows total have you hosted? Actually, has, has Freedom of Speech presented? I don't know. I don't actually I don't keep track. I was trying to figure it out the other day, and I didn't like put too much time into it. Neither but I was I. like, if you put all the underground vibes together, that's seven. Then you put nine hundred five fest together. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's like that's in itself. We that's, had we had twelve. That's twelve. Then I mean, you throw you gotta better ask somebody. The Friday the thirteenth show. There's a Halloween show in there that I don't think was underground vibe. That was Hamilton there's, Vape Lounge. That was my birthday show. That yeah. was underground vibe. Show. Yeah, no, no, there was, was an underground no. vibe show at Hamilton Vape Lounge. There but was, was also a, a Halloween show at Hamilton Vape Lounge. And there was the for the the superstition for the Friday the thirteenth show. There's also the absence show. So uh, many there was shows. the Ward Four show we did, which we is gotta do the some city. Math. There was uh, there was a bunch, and then there's also oh, yeah, gotta, the Ward Four show that was completely all the different. Kofa stuff we did too. We did like the Thirsty Thursday or the, the we're not even Thursdays. counting those ones. Yeah, we did the Throwback Thursdays, and then we also did the 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 You Better Ask Somebody, the Underground Vibes five five point oh or 4. I got a question 0. for you. What's the biggest thing you think you learned in the last five years? Wow, that's a that's a really like broad just one kind of thing. perspective. What's but, the like if you were to think and go, what's one thing you you know now that maybe you wish you knew then? Take what people say with a grain of salt, Damn. Because like everybody has the their good own, or the bad. The good or the bad. Everybody has yeah. their own opinion. Everybody's gonna say like, especially like with what I do, 
You know, I get constant like people telling me all the time what they think I should do or what they think I shouldn't do or that they think I'm not doing what I should be. And yeah. that's cool. Like everybody's entitled to their opinion. But I just kind of – my focus is on the goal ahead of me. And I try to not let anything else kind of deter me from that because yeah. if you start letting all the noise in, this is something I tell like artists that I work with too. It's like don't take what people say so to heart because yeah. ev- not everybody needs it. Like they're trying to make you feel bad about yourself. A lot of people are just voicing their opinion. Yeah. And on the internet, that's a place for that. That's literally what it's for. If you think about you're at a football game and you're watching and people are like yelling – to yeah. like, oh, do, do, do well, the drone. I grew up playing sports too, right? So I understand about competition in that regard. Like, yeah. you know, um, there is friendly competition between teammates even. Sure. And there is, you know, competition between guys that are on separate teams. But once the game is over, that's it. We don't continue the beef after the game is over. You know what I mean? Move on. Like it's, it's, it's the game, right? It's, yeah. it's part of it. And the same kind of comes with the territory of being an artist. People are going to, you know, approach you in ways that you may be, be uncomfortable with. And you're going to have to, like, I literally had to deal with that the other day. It wasn't me that did anything, but someone I know did something. So someone else approached me about it, trying to, like, almost, like, make get me an immediate situation. And I was like, yeah, like, kind of, I just kind of was like, well, like, it doesn't have anything to do with me. So but, I have nothing to do with it a little but, bit. Yeah. But I understand where you're coming from and you know, I hope you're okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Like, you know, it's all in how you talk. Talk to people, I always right? give my two cents like this is how I handle it. Yeah, but I'm not. I don't want to be in the middle of your situation. Well, and you know and that's I mean? like kind of kind of the way I took it is like you know this is what I this is what I think about the situation because you're come bringing it to me. Yeah. But don't don't involve me like I did something because I didn't do. I'm not part of this situation. Don't but, use my my words on it as like ammunition yeah, against yeah, the exactly, person that's, exactly. that's what'll happen sometimes you'll be like oh well that they said this like, yeah oh. exactly and that's especially when you're someone like me i ain't saying who, nothing who like as much as i hate to admit it sometimes i have there's a, a certain amount of influence in the city that i possess as much as i like i'm not trying to, to toot my own horn he says he influential like there, there's people that know who i am and he people influencer. ask me for my opinion on stuff they do and which is weird i don't i never really expected it to be like that but mm. and it comes from like obviously like time Right, I've been doing yeah. it now for like seven years, and I've constantly been involved in the scene. You know, obviously there's definitely more room to grow, and I'm not like the best of the best. But I always use a quote that L- LT said to me. I don't know who he got it from, but it was like, "There's, um, there's, there's three people in this like industry of doing things. It's like there's, there's the ones that never tried. I forget what he calls them. It's like there's the cowards that never tried. There's the, the quitters who stopped along the way, and then there's us." It's like it's just whoever's can doesn't matter at what level you're trying to do just it or how you're it. doing it. Just keep doing the it. The people that are still doing it, that's the last block. Just section. keep doing it. Just keep there's doing it. There's people who never did it. There's people who quit while they were doing it. And there's people who are doing it. Well, it's the people who never did it who have the most higher, to say, right? Because they have the most time always. to sit there and think about it, right? And think about how they would do it most better. Most regrets for it. How too, they would right? do it better. You know, sure. and, and there are lots of ways. Like I'm always constantly like thinking about, oh, how can I improve what sure. it is I'm doing? And That's like, how you get better. I get, I get, as soon as I get down on myself, and I, and I, like, something one of my uh, colleagues said to me was, don't should on yourself. Like, don't, like, be like, oh, I should have did this or I should have that. Mm, it, I like that. It's great to, like, don't should on yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like, it, it's kind of clever. It's, <laughs> it's kind of clever. Good. It's, it's good solid. fun. You know, don't um, should on yourself. Um, and actually, it was Megan DeVita that said that to me. You had Megan on your show. She's yeah, shout out Megan. Council as well. Um, I saw a clip of her interviewing LT from her. From her show on Cable 14. Oh man, that's awesome! Just the other day, I don't, I don't have Cable 14, so I hadn't seen it prior. But I just seen some of that interview that she did with LT on there. Yeah, that that was a great interview. I did check some of that online. And like you know, I'm hoping to uh, connect with Cable 14 as well. That, I got a serious question for you. Yeah, what's that? What's your favorite Timbit? Oh, definitely the the um, the birthday cake one or the sour cream glaze one or two but one of the two they're kind of like the same one almost like, not the same one well like they, they kind of first they, they of look all. they look similar first one of has all. sprinkles but whatever first, the interior yeah the bir- interior i like the interior, the interior of, of the birthday, birthday cake. cake yeah yeah there's no other yeah, you but, can't get that one on the shelf it's not a donut dude have you ever had like the sour cream gla- like the sour cream glaze chocolate one that was glazed in chocolate i wish they would I bring that, that man i wish they'd bring that one back that was my favorite the one birthday cake one but the one they have right if you're talking about what they have right now the birthday cake for sure solid timber or a plain tim now let me like plain Timbits too. You. you can give me a plain Timbit. I don't got Timbits yet, but when Tim Warren spots me, when I have Timbit, we That'd got this nice. jar here. Oh, cool. I'm going to need you to read a piece of advice. Wouldn't it be cool if I pulled my own advice out of the jar? <laughs> that would be a trip. Be, okay, there's two pieces stuck together. Can I get to read two? No. Okay, so I got to pick one. Yes. Okay, well, I'm going to pick the one that's not completely crumpled. Sure. This says, talk to strangers. I kind of... I kind of agree with that, but I kind of disagree with that. Yeah. Like, yes, talk to strangers, but like, 
what kind of strangers are we talking about? Like, <laughs> now, well, especially when you live in Hamilton. Yeah, don't talk to all the strangers. Yeah, t- talk to strangers. Be that select. Seem, like they they want to have a conversation. Like they want to get in a conversation with you, especially because I feel like a conversation has to be productive. Or what's the point of having it? Sure. Like, what's the if we're just gonna talk about nothing? Then what's the point of talking about it? Like, we can talk about the weather and make small. I'm gonna talk, double like, back on my comment of for people not to be making comments of like someone gave me crumpled up, put it back in. Someone had the advice of like sometimes you should take everyone's input because the stupidest person could have the best idea. You never know. Well, and that's and that's what something that you know ne- what we never really you consider never in the moment. Now here's that. Go ahead. That like you know when you're caught up in it, yeah, you kind of see with a bit of tunnel vision. So that's what I like about you never know when an idea is going to come the from, feedback right? from people and what they have yeah. to say. And like, even just hearing out, even if I'm not going to necessarily like do it, what it is that they want me to do. Yeah. It's fine to like, let them say their piece because maybe what they have to say actually might make sense a little bit. And maybe it's something I didn't see. Yeah. I forget how that, that quote I quoted earlier was mentioned, but it's the idea of like, make your critiques gentle. Cause you don't want to discourage, not that you shouldn't say anything, but it's like, don't discourage someone who may be very early in their life. Well, and process. that's also, it's also like, you don't know where someone's at in their head or where they're at in their process. Sure. Like constructive criticism is great yeah. if you're asking for it. And but if, if it's a, constructive. Well, and a lot of people aren't asking for it, right? A lot yeah. of people give unwarranted or un like sure. wanted criticism. And like, I like as an artist, you kind of have to be prepared for that. You, you, it's part of it. Like, Anytime you, you, you're part, doing something the in the like public eye, you should expect scrutiny from that you should, same public, you should, yes. right? And if you don't, then that's just like then you're not getting enough eyes yet. Well, and that's it. When people are hating on you, it's like then you know you're doing something right to some degree because you think you can you can talk about me all you want um, in a positive way, and that's great. But when you have something negative to say about me, there's a million people. There's like a bunch more people, not million, but a bunch of people who are gonna refute that with something positive, right? So yeah. you just create that animosity and you create that you drum up that uh, that 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 conversation like, right everyone just try the best not to be that person well and that's that it person too, but who's always got something negative to say about everyone i mean like it's just i guess yeah less of it would be better i try to focus on the more positive side of things sure. like you know uh when people approach me with that kind of negativity i try to just be like you know what like you do what you do what you want, want to do i kind of got other things i got to focus on yeah. and i shift my focus to something that actually is productive and positive it's it's not always the easiest thing to do no. when people are like messaging you or badgering you about some stuff, um, you know. But even I'm not talking about that guy. No, no. But <laughs> even when advice. even when situations what you, happen, what are you replacing that advice with? It's your turn on the advice, and will you read that advice? I'm gonna do. You want me book, to read the advice? No, too? you're gonna write the advice, put it in the jar. We now have a new segment on the show. While the person writes their advice, I have the because that matters announcements that oh, I need cool. to do on October 9th. There will be a show at the Cotton Factory featuring the Phil Harmonic and LT the Monk, in which he is quoted and saying, Hip hop still has something to say, and that there is space for different genres to collide and create something beautiful. Maybe they made that quote up. I don't know. I just read it on Lisa's story. Come out to that October 9th. Next on the list of announcements, there will be 150, speaking of the Cotton Factory, 150 artists will be displaying their work right now, right now at the Cotton Factory, from September 26th to 29th. I believe it is free. It is the Cotton Factory Art Fair. It may not be free. I may be wrong on that, but it's 150 artists. It will be open until 11 p.m. every night. You should definitely go check that out at the Cotton Factory. Next, on the announcements... Lee Reed and the Rhyme Think Revolutionary Rap Roadshow will be beginning their Ontario leg of the tour tomorrow night in London. Don't know where. But Saturday night, they will be in Hamilton at the Doors Pub. Then October 2nd, they will be in Toronto. Then October 3rd, they will be in Peterborough. And then October 4th, they will be in Ottawa. And October 5th, they will be in Kingston. So you want to check that out. I don't know what shows they got going on after that, but that is a a nice run of shows you don't want to miss. I know Tariq Funk will also be part of those, some of those shows. C Reality will be on some of those shows. There's some other... I, I'm going to mess up names. Someone's got garbage in their name. It's garbage something. I don't know how to say it. Garbage I'm going to mess it up. I'm sure they're great if they're on a show with these other characters because these are all MCs. These other characters. These are characters. These are phenomenal MCs. MCs in the oh yeah, yeah. in the hip hop oh, Hamilton yeah, yeah. in the, in the Canada. Drake Funk is dope. Shout out to both those guys. 
if these guys got you on the same set list, I know you good. Facts. That last announcement. That was the last announcement. No, that was the last announcement. All right, then. Now. Yeah. You sent me a beat. Oh, I did. I did. I did. Did you change your mind? No, no, I didn't change my mind. I'm always finna rap. I'm always finna rap. All right. I'm always feeling rap. I'm always ready to rap. I'm gonna play the beat. You sent it to me like ten minutes ago. Okay, okay, okay. Then we going then we gonna move along. We got we got Haas Bowman, Haas, MK Haas, Gromit, Haas. They they they, they here. They here. They ready. Yo, shout out Haas Bowman. Not shout out MK. How come not shout out? I MK? Shout out MK too. Yeah, exactly. See, would you? My bad. Part of the announcement. They I just, got. I know show. Haas is performing tomorrow. So at Farside, I'm gonna be there. It's gonna be a good time. Ugh. Now this beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm cooking. You, you come and not rap this time. This will be your first time not. Yeah, I know. I always gotta rap if I come through the studio. You know. You can skip that intro too. You don't gotta listen to that like thirty second ass intro. Sorry about the language. We playing it. Don't be swearing. What happened to the hot sauce though? I thought we were. It's not allowed. Oh. Shout out. <laughs> Shout out to CFMU. You've got pennies in your pocket. You've got nothing in the bank. The creditors are calling. You're behind on your promises. He says, here's how that I do love occurred. this intro, though. You've attracted, up until now, you've attracted the things to you because of the person you've become. Now I said, well, how can I change all that? He said, very simple. If you will change, everything will change for you. You don't have to change what's outside. All you've got to change is what's inside. To have more, you simply have to become more. And then he said, don't wish it was easier. Wish you were better. Don't wish for less problems. Wish for more skills. I picked this because of the intro. Start working on yourself, making these personal changes. It's a good intro. I do. It's a long intro, but it's a good intro. <laughs> K-Chick's ready to rap now. Uh. Because Design Matter is exclusive. CFMU. Yeah. Never grab before attention, still the one that people mention. What we on lately is beyond your comprehension. Six years in, barely started the ascension. Rising to the top, man, feel no apprehension. Mean everything you say, what you know about attention. Kept the family close cause the world was against us Go find a comparison, there's no one in contention Did it for the city, just to leave a name cemented Try and talk the talk, could never see it through the lenses For a bit that I was blinded, finally coming to my senses Had a moment that was pensive, never need no more incentive Stay ambitious and inventive, know that's why they get defensive Never said I'm humble, all these haters too pretentious Always on the grind, and I know that you resent it Wanna compare, we ain't in the same sentence Cause living in your head, rent free is inexpensive uh. Uh. Yo, I love that leader. I love that like sax. It's like I'm gonna get KP to play that. Yeah, y'all gotta remake this. <laughs> Yo. Uh, K Tricks. Yo. Gotta rise above it, cause they hate it till they love it. Acting like a wannabe, the city never covet We can talk about it once I make it to the summit Jumping off the mountaintop, they hoping that he plummet Fell without a parachute and still learn to fly On the way down, had to wonder who am I Five years later, now I finally turn the tide Never heard a cricket, but my call just been to God Building up a head of steam, scorching every verse More unstable than acetylene Money in the fame, more addicted than amphetamines Bet I seen this game, turn so many friends to enemies People switched up, still I kept the same energy Logo on my arm, no mistake in the identity Rappers taking shots, must have thought he was a Kennedy Shorty like to drink, but only if it's Hennessy Yeah I think you said You said Living in your head you rent kinda, free But the, what'd you say? Living in your head rent free is inexpensive Ah, oh, that's Lot of people, right, you, sure. can, you can you can cut that cut out. Cut the beat. Cut that beat now. 
And now we let the beat play. We, we let let the roll beat out. out. Let it ride out like Flow Rider. Let's YouTube gonna flag me. <laughs> you, you, oh no, YouTube ain't gonna flag you. You get me flagged on YouTube. It's an MP3, I said Where'd you, Where'd this beat come from? Hey, it's an MP3, bro. Where'd it come from? It's an MP3, From bro. where? And you, don't, you don't need to know where it came yeah, from. YouTube, on the low low. YouTube gonna flag me, aren't they? On the, no, what are you talking about? Did MK make this beat? No, MK did not make this beat. Shout out MK. I'm though. concerned I'm gonna get flagged on this beat. No, I don't I don't see you getting flagged on this beat, bro. I'm getting flagged on a lot of these freestyles. Really? <laughs> not from you specifically. Really? I, mean, oh, I gotta stop playing songs. Jeez, that's crazy. <laughs> I, I don't see you getting flagged at all on this beat, but I appreciate you coming out. Yo, shout out. Now you got sixty seconds. That camera. What do you wanna promote? October eighteenth, underground vibes, seven point the Casbah. You know what it is. Doors at eight PM, ten dollars at the door. Mike Checks, Sukasa, Tom Thomas, Murr, uh, Park from uh, CC, DJ uh, Perry on the ones and twos, and me and KP on sax. You heard? Remember, community over competition. And I need you to say, this is a Because Design Matters exclusive. This is a Because Design Matters exclusive. And I say, you are K Triggs, and you have been watching Because Design Matters. I am K Triggs, and you have been watching Because Design Matters. I appreciate you coming out. We don't not let these guys wait any longer. We gonna get on with the show. Appreciate you. Damn right. Get on with the show, bro. Get on with wants to fall out of heaven. I am K Triggs, and you have been watching Because Design Matters.